But the intelligence reports of SG are, this guy's not going to challenge the West. He's going to tend to his economy, make sure all is good, right? We now discover, and you read about in the book, there are these secret speeches that he gave almost as soon as he came into office saying, we're going to build up our nuclear forces to the size of the Russian. Dude, that's such a funny fucking take. That's not challenging the West, big dog. This is the problem. Like, people think nuclear proliferation occurs in foreign nations as a direct consequence of, like, wanting to challenge the West. No. Xi Jinping, now I'm back on the fucking China dick riding train, okay? Xi Jinping literally came to the United States of America a couple months ago, if you guys remember. When he was in San Francisco, he had a conversation with Joe Biden. In that conversation, he straight up said, we do not want to do nuclear proliferation. You have forced our hand to do nuclear proliferation. We will actually engage in denuclearization if you remove some of these fucking bases from Japan and the surrounding island nations from the South China Sea. That's it. That was the major reason as to why these guys engaged in nuclear proliferation. It's a perfectly understandable development for a nation state that is being threatened by American hegemonic power in their own fucking backyard. Nuclear deterrence in mainland China is somehow fucking threat against the West. Is such a cynical view from the West. Exactly. But do you believe China though? Yes, I do. I do believe China. I do. Because I have an opinion that most state actors, and maybe sometimes, like in the case of Russia, this might lead me down a false prediction, okay? But they're rational actors nonetheless. It is not going to change my analysis on looking at countries as like, and, and the leadership of countries as rational actors with motivations that are quite similar to our motivations. Russians and the Americans, we're going to make sure that we take our claims in the South China Sea. Mm-hmm. I was out on the uh, in the Rose Garden of the White House when she came to visit and promised everybody he wasn't going to militarize these islands they're building in the South China Sea. Yeah, he's a year talking or two about later, you look on satellite photographs, there are fighter jets showing up on the island. Kind of looks like military. Well, that's just okay. The question is why? Also, once again, it's their fucking backyard, brother. It is their backyard. Why are our weapons directed at China, given the history of the United States? of America, why should any fucking global power not feel threatened when American missiles are aimed at them. We have demonstrated our interest in using everything, including nukes, on civilian territory. We are the only nation that has done so. Why the fuck would any other country not be afraid of that prospect? It is ridiculous. This is in the most like simplistic, like playground bully terms. This literally is like having a big old bully beat the shit out of people consistently and then come up to you and start like fake punching you. And then if you go and start fight training, the bully goes, why are you training? I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just fake punching you. It's like, bitch, I saw you punch the shit out of every other nerd that looks like me. Why would I expect you not to punch me? You keep saying you're going to punch my face. Don't defend yourself. Don't defend yourself. It literally is, yeah, how about you don't put your countries close to U.S. bases? Have you thought about that? That is unironically American foreign policy. That literally is American foreign policy. We have military bases all around the planet. Uh, Why are you existing so close to one of our military bases? And then people go, aren't we just defending our allies, though? That is the American way of justifying this, right? And it's like every single one of these countries at a certain point has been like, hey, man, maybe we shouldn't let America build military bases here. And then those guys get fucking slaughtered suspiciously. They get packed up. So, of course, what remains of these nations' leadership are perfectly in line with American interests. So then we can just maintain this assumption like that everybody loves this. Everybody wants it because everybody now does want it because the ones that didn't want it are gone.